We welcome you live here for the Dominic Cup Series here for our first ever road course race of the season. Angel Navarro qualifying the pole for Furniture Row Racing as he will be leading the field down to the green flag here at Watkins Glen. Alrighty, the first few corners being a bit tricky for a couple of these drivers here. Navarro with a great jump over Dylan Schwallenberg here as JT Bryant continue to fall back. Caution out on the track. And that involves Will Goss and Jessica Emery. They'll be racing back down towards the line. As already a lot of cars scattering for position here. Vince Freeze trying to get to third. Already getting that spot away. As here they come into the into the bus stop here. This is a very tricky corner to be in for a lot of these drivers here. Whether they're good at road courses or not. And it looks like they're going to sell things down. Find Navarro leading over Schwalenberg. As the rest of the field getting themselves gathered around. Trying to race back for every position on the track. As they see Navarro taking it nice and easy in these final few corners here. And it looks like the 78 will be able to lead lap number one of the race. But already a caution on the track here at Watkins Glen. As we will get a replay as Navarro crosses the line. And excuse me, the 41 was kept sheer, not Will Goss, as he got turned into the wall. That's actually a tire barrier by Jessica Emery, and that was a heavy impact for the 41, and that is a tough break and a rough start for those two drivers there. Jessica Emery looking strong in the points, Kev Shear making his first few starts in the series, already out of the race on lap number one. The pace car is off. Navarro continues to lead over Dylan Schwalmberg, Vince Freeze, JT Bryant, and Jeremy Jones as your top five. Green flag back in the air. We are racing yet again at the at the track here at Watkins Glen. Jonathan Zorlin in the back making an aggressive move down the inside of Jeremy Jones for the fifth position. Looks like he'll be able to get it. Rancho Cucamonga tries to fight back. He gets on the inside of Jeremy Jones. As they're already on the move early on. The top three trying to break away from the rest of the field here. Vince Freeze is on the bumper of Dylan Schwalmberg. Will he make a move? Nick Gunther in the back making a move on Rancho Cucamonga. The bus stop very atrocious here. They all drive it wide. As a lot of them drive off the track just a bit. There's a lot of hard racing near the back of the field. Contact made between the back markers. Looks like they are three wide. JT Bryant stuck on the high side there. He has to back off. Jonathan Zorlin takes the spot away. And Jeremy Jones is trying to attack as well. And there's Dylan Schwalmberg. He reeled in Navarro. Navarro drove in a terrible corner. Battle for the lead. Dylan Schwalmberg. And Angel Navarro. Will Schwalmberg get the spot? A hard breaking zone in the turn one. And Navarro drives it wide. Here comes Dylan Schwalmberg to the lead. Dylan Schwalmberg trying to take it away. And it looks like he's going to be able to if Vince Freeze decides to help. They are still side by side for the lead here as it is still green. I think I saw some smoke near the back in turn one. We'll have to look at that later. But Dylan Schwalmberg trying to hold on into the bus stop. They go. Will he, will he get it? Navarro holds on. Great defending by Angel Navarro. He's going to keep the spot. That 78 car looking very fast on the grid. They're wondering. Oh, we got trouble. Chris Dodd off into the bus stop there. Hard impact. And we've got a multiple car wreck. Further down. Joshua Sakuli. Jack James. Looks like um, Pat Johnson got a piece of that as well. They'll be racing back down towards the line. As a couple cars slipping and sliding out of that final corner. But Dylan Schwalmer will be end up second to Angel Navarro yet again as we'll get a replay of the caution. So Chris Dodd was the car that went off the track there down in turn one. That's really the one of the reasons that it did, didn't bring out the caution necessarily, but that was what happened down in turn one. Chris Dodd's wheel hopped the car there and then there was a wreck further down we saw what happened to Chris Dodd down in turns in the bus stop area but we're gonna focus here around the Pat Johnson Pat Johnson area here looks like they're going into the bus stop 
They do it just fine, actually. They don't really have much of an issue, but teammates collide. And that's why Josh Sikuli went way off the track. Jack James as well, and bam, into the tire barrier goes Joshua Sikuli, and that is an end to his day. Looks like Jack James gets away unscathed, basically minor damage done for the 42, but they're going to be mired back in traffic. Pace car is off yet again. Angel Navarro leads it down to the green. There it is. Nick Gunther already in the back, making a great start there. Dylan Schwalmberg on the bumper there of the 78. Into turn number one, they go. Schwalmberg waiting for an attack here. Schwalmberg is known for his road course experience and short track expertise. But he is running in second to Inge Navarro, looking new in the series, trying to get his first win of the season. Expect a lot of first-time winners here for season two. We don't really have that many returning drivers, but Dylan Schwalmberg, one of the few drivers that are back from season one, trying to get another victory in that car. We haven't seen the 20 car actually in Victor Link at all. But Dylan Schwalmberg looking very strong today, so this is going to be good for him. And we've got a massive crash in the back! Looks like Richard jo Eric Rodriguez and Theo Stegall have crashed heavily as Stegall went over the barrier there, over the guardrail. And that is a terrible wreck. The caution is out on the track, racing back down towards the line yet again. As there's Kyle Matthews coming down pit lane, he might have had something to do with that as well. But they're going to be racing all the way back down towards the line. As there's a bit of contact made there, but Angel Navarro continues to remain in the lead. And looks like there was some contact there, and what a massive shunt. Over the barrier he went. The Ustagal's car, no longer hot. But now on its roof there. Tough break for Theo Stigal. Looking very solid, though. Not the best of runs they've had. But Theo Stigal's day comes to a terrible end there. He's not dead, obviously, but... That's a tough way to end the race for Theos to go on a terrible wreck there. Went over the guardrail there. Eric Rodriguez most likely done for the day as well. And it looks like Chris Dunn's going to be the one to stay out after some pit stops here. Green flag back in the air. Cody Lamas out of the race due to a clutch issue. Dylan Schwalmberg immediately ducking to the inside. He's aware of the damage there as Dylan Schwalmberg trying to take the lead away. I think it'll be a lot easier for him this time around. Navarro lost a couple of spots down pit lane to Vince Fries, Jonathan Zorland, and Schwalmberg themselves as the battle for the lead is going to heat on. Zorland finally gets around done for the third spot. Navarro's going to try and hound his way up. He, we know he's got a fast car under that 78 there. Rancho Cucamonga also in the mix as well. Here they come into the bus stop yet again. Dylan Schwalmberg takes it easy, but they still drive it a bit wide there. So definitely not what you want to do here at the track. As the field near the back, kind of scrambling hard for position. Jesse Turner, Zachary Fitzwater, they're all running hard there. Contact made. Luckily, there's not as much, uh, the tire rubs aren't as sensitive as it is in real life here. There's Tommy Turbo near the back of the pack as well. They're trying to mire, make their way up through the field, try to get some top 15 runs in. As they see Chris Dodge is a sitting duck here on the track. As he is holding up a lot of fast race cars here. Jeffrey Fingai. And we've got some trouble into the back. No caution on the track yet. Um, as there you see, Jeffrey Fingai also trying to make some ground gain here as he's trying to get around the slow Chris Dodd. Nick Gunther making contact there. Dodd saves it and holds on for dear life. But that's going to hold up William Duncan here. And Chris Dodd had a close call. And Nick Gunther's in the wall as he spins around. Charles Sanford gets a piece of it as the caution waves. Yet again, they are still stacking up near the back. And Jack James now is in some deep shit here as he's got heavy front side damage there. And looks like the 21. And they are still crashing actually. They just crashed again. Richard Johnson looks like he might have just had an issue there. Maybe a drivetrain failure from the 21. It's definitely something amiss. As there you see the 22 just ran into the back of the 21 for some odd reason. Johnny Gardner, I don't know what he was doing. But again, they're racing back. Dylan Schwalmberg, the leader this time around. As he's taking the caution flag, we'll have a replay to see exactly what happened. 
You see here's an instant replay to see what happened. Nick Gunther drove the car a bit too hard there over the limits. Hits that barrier really hard. Hard impact to the guardrail. Richard Johnson committed to his line had no points to go. Gunther spins the car around. The Pokemon Go machine basically destroyed by now. Charles Sanford hard on the brakes. Just barely taps. 35 but he has enough front end damage there. Everybody trying to stack up in the back. Co uh, Joey Murphy slowing down but then you see Jonathan Reigns doesn't check up. Good enough. Hits the 13. The 13 goes into the guardrail there. Jack James runs into the back of Murphy, and that's why he's got front end damage. And remember Richard Johnson with the car just basically limping. He didn't really have an issue. It's just because of the damage he got. And they're all just trying to run around him here, and I think they all just kind of collided there. The 83 going off, and just so and so. Just a lot of cars just going off the track there into the bus stop. And then watch Johnny Gardner here. He just runs into the back of the 21. Definitely a brain fart there as Johnny Gardner's car is going to be destroyed for the day. The Pig Stadium winner not looking strong today. Coming for the restart yet again, Dylan Schwalmberg. Currently your leader over Vince Freeze, Jonathan Zorlin, and Rancho Cucamonga, your top four with Angel Navarro. One of the dominant cars today in fifth, green flag. Back in the air here. JT Bryan got an excellent start there. He's going to get a quick jump start on Navarro as he goes down to the inside lane. Jeffrey Fingai looking to attack as Navarro drives the car wide. The 33 hard in the wall with William Duncan. Heavy contact as the caution flies. Ian Dutta just hit the six as well. And a heavy at crash. That is actually Luis Hernandez in the 33, Ian Dutta with heavy front side damage. And they are still crashing Nick Gunther, Charles Sanford, PJ Williams as well. Calamity here at Watkins Glen. As the field scanning themselves around, we got more trouble near the back. As that is Ryder Barnes and the 34 of Bill Gunther also crashing. As just chaos here. In this restart here, lots of damage to several race cars here. Potential competitors out of the race right just like that. As Rancher Cucamonga trying to get on the move here on the outside line of Jonathan Zorlin. Will he get the spot? No, he will not. And Dylan Schwamberg will be leading them down yet again for the caution flag. As a, we're going to take a look at the replay with Luis Hernandez and Duncan as well as the secondary Rex. And there was actually already a crash before they got to the green. William Brock got turned by Joey Murphy in the reins, and then the seven. It's just a slow roll. Not even. Yeah, there's a almost a roll there for William Brock. He had a heck of a ride there. That's what brought up the caution. Then you saw the second wreck here with Duncan, and that was a massive crash here. We're gonna look at this. We're gonna rewind this baby here, and looks like Duncan got into the back of Luis Hernandez here. Hernandez gets a bit loose there. Duncan's just right there the wrong place at the wrong time and into the tire barrier they go. Duncan goes upside down and then Ian Dutta just an innocent bystander. I don't know what he... Ian Dutta just runs into the six there and Duncan goes for a right. Annie Thomas gets collected and that's what sets up that incident there. There was a wreck near the back. PJ Williams drove the car hard into Charles Sanford. Will Goss no place to go. They all go into the barrier there. And then Nick Gunther piles into the side of Williams there in the number 35 in the 19 there. As the 35 side slams the, um, the 19 pretty hard. And then you saw what happened here with the 34 and the 46. It looked like probably just Bill Gunther drove the car a bit wider than he anticipated. And that took out Ryder Barnes with them as they both get their rear ends basically destroyed into that barrier and that wall as well. Coming for the green flag yet again, Dylan Schwalberg continuing to lead here. The Toyota's dominating this race so far. Will a Chevy or a Ford do anything about it? Green flag in the air. JT Bryant trying to get another spot away. This is a grand opportunity for this 12 car to get another win in the season here. Actually, they haven't even won a race this season, but trying to get another win in their career here. JT Bryant trying to get on the move. Side by side for second here between Vince Freeze and Jonathan Zorlin. Zorlin can't really hold on. 
Rancho Cucamonga tries to make a move. He does. We've got a crash in the back. Jesse Turner spinning around in the back of the field. Caution is out as they're extremely aggressive here. Jeffrey Fingai on the move here trying to get around Tommy Turbo for a position. But yeah, that is Jesse Turner wrecking in the back of the field there. Focusing back up to the front of the pack here. Dylan Schlumberg holding a demanding lead over Vince Freeze. Cucamonga up to third. Tommy Turbo trying to get the fourth spot away from Jonathan Zorlin. Zorlin defending his line. JT Bryant giving him a nice shove into the final corner. And they nearly hit that wall off that corner, off that final corner as well. That's a very tricky spot. As Dylan Schwamberg will be leading them down. They're going to slow it down yet again. It's been a wreck fest here at Watkins Glen. And Jeremy Jones just got into the back of Gabe Williams, and that just clips Jesse Turner. Just a really simple wreck here. And that sends Turner into the wall, and that's really the reason our caution came out. Tough break for Jesse Turner. He was actually looking inside, the, trying to get a top 10 position there at the moment, and that's going to really give him a massive setback. Coming to take the restart yet again. Couple cars retired. Dylan Young out of the race due to a tire issue, actually. You saw him come down pit lane previously. No other retirees in that. Green flag back in the air. RCR actually running second and third at the moment here. Rancho Cucamonga looking in here as Jeffrey Fingai now making another move down to the inside, trying to outbreak Angel Navarro. There's Alderbear Nascus. Annie Thomas off the track in the back. Will that bring out the caution? No, it will not as they're still going to be racing for the line here. Vince Freeze holding on for dear life from Rancho Cucamonga. Cucamonga, very well known for his third place finishes here. As he comes down to the inside, trying to take second away. Cucamonga dives it in deep. Freeze holds on to the position. But will Cucamonga fight back? No, he will not, as hard as the 31 wants it. But here he comes yet again with a hard charging steam here. Down to the inside line. The lines will invert here in the in the next few corners here. As Schwamberg just needing to see them battle it out here. Tommy Turbo running in that quiet fourth position. Doing a great job for the team right now. Jeffrey Fingai running inside the top ten as well. So they're looking very strong today. He hits the wall though. So speaking of Fingai. As that's going to hurt him a bit there. And we've got a crash in the back. Caution is out on the speedway there. Joey Murphy and Bill Gunther have crashed. Yet again here, the caution out on the track. They're going to actually still be racing back because they already crossed the line. Cucamonga made contact with Vince Freeze. An intense battle for second here. Tommy Turbo, who will we go with? They're both RCR affiliates in a way as Jonathan Zorlin peeking into the shadows here. As Cucamonga gets the second spot away from Vince Freeze. But Freeze fights back on the inside. And it looks like Freeze is going to drive that corner a bit wide. The carousel. As here comes Cucamonga up to the second spot. Tommy Turbo on the, giving the 31 a nice shove here. And here they come into the final few corners. Dylan Schlomberg, like I said, with a demanding gap over the, the rest of the field here. As Vince Freeze, he's going to drive it a bit wide, but he's just fine. He's going to hold on for second here. Great defending. For the 31 here, they're going to hold on. As I see, really pretty much the top six are pretty much crammed together as the caution comes, as the caution is flying out. I think Bill Gunther had something go gone wrong and the car spun around. And Joey Murphy just against the wall, just slowed down, just barely hits the side of the 34. But that gives him enough front end damage to bring out the caution there. I think they were signaling to come down pit lane, but they just came in at a weird angle there. Green flag back in the air. Dylan Schwamberg trying to lead here for the final time. This is most likely going to be our last restart. The battle for second is on between Rancho Cucamonga and Freeze. They make contact once. Here comes Cucamonga down the bottom, trying to take second away. They make contact. Freeze nearly at the track. He gets turned by Turbo and he's upside down. Vince Freeze hard in the barrier. The caution is out as several cars pile in. And it looks like that's going to be a big one as several, as they're still piling into each other. Arca breaks all over the racetrack. And that is a massive lot of cars destroyed in a heap 
of junk here. A junkyard of cars get collected. They'll be racing back down towards the line, but it looks like Dylan Schwabrick's just gonna win this race, period. As there you see the rest of the field just, man, a massive, a huge mess here. On that final restart, definitely not what Vince Freeze wanted. But Dylan Schwammer, he's going to try and cruise his way down towards Lion Cucamonga. Can't really do much here. Jeffrey Fingon gets a fifth out of this if he, or almost a fifth out of that. If he's lucky enough. But a lot of destroyed race cars here. Yeah, that will be a fifth for him. But what a massive junk here. At Watkins Glen, I didn't expect that to happen. RCR teammates collided. They're going to have to have a nice little conversation after this one. As Dylan Schwamberg looks like he has this race won. And you see here, this is an, out of turn one. Cucamonga and Freeze made contact. Cucamonga had the run there. And this is coming into the S's here. Cucamonga gets, a good, gets some great momentum here. He drives the car a bit too hard. Very similar to the mistakes we've seen earlier. They make contact. Freeze trying to save it. And Tommy Turbo just no place to go. The 31 goes on his roof, flips over several times. Andre Baranowskis on the brakes there trying to slow down, trying to get around them, and they all just pile in behind. O'Neal Balvin, there's Jeremy Jones, Will Goss, Betty Johnson, Rain, several others, Turner, Dodd. And they're all just stacking up. Just, the track is blocked from there. They can't really do much. And it's basically a massive junkyard of cars, as if you just saw a Monster Jam event go haywire. Several cars destroyed and stuck on the racetrack. Red flag was out, but Dylan Schwalberg, they know it's going to end under caution here. But Dylan Schwalberg was the lead at the time. We're going to see if he actually can wrap it up here once and for all, and he can make the chase. And coming into the final corner here on the last lap, Dylan Schwammer looks like he's going to be able to take the checkered flag once and for all, making it his second win in his entire Doubleman Cup Series career. And that's going to put him in the chase as Dylan Schwammer will be crossing the line to take the victory here at Watkins Glen. Jonathan Zorn will end up just short, getting a second spot. Bryant third. Jeffrey Fingai gets a good fourth place position. Then you got Angel Navarro. Running in fifth, Tommy Turbo had some issues there. Remember, he got in the wreck. Fitzwater gets a sixth. Sanford, seventh. Pat Johnson, eighth. Baranowskis, ninth. And Betty Johnson, your top ten here. As we're going to go all the way down further into the order. Rancho Kumanga had some issues under caution. That is why he dropped down all the way to 15th. So we had a lot of the field out of the race because of that. But Dylan Schwammer ends up as your victor here. As we're going to scroll down to the rest of the field here. All the way down, Kev Shear out of the race. Jessica Emery, a lot of big names out of the race early on. And had some issues, but congratulations to Dylan Schwamberg on winning here at Watkins Glen. That puts him in the chase, and that is good for their team. As Dylan Schwamberg gets a win for the 20 car at last. Take a look at the point standings here in just a moment.